Welcome to the 15th part of the tutorial series. And in this part, we'll mostly do some housekeeping to our application. So, first off, create like a new folder. Uh, and here we'll put all of our, uh, you know, new group. So, just call this vector2. We'll just put our vector.cp, vector.h into here. Then also create a new folder for your bon the new box, so new group. I forgot the shortcut, oh, no. make sure it's in your um, make sure it's in your uh, simple uh, game shell folder and in this little bonding box. Okay. Now, uh, create a new header file and simply, yeah, so just header file and name this prefix. So basically, this will be a, and make sure it's in the simple open gel game folder. And I can just close these, by the way. Okay. And basically, in this, we'll put all of our includes. So, include, most important one, of course, gl slash glf dot h. Um, also include honor stream into here. Also include, include vector two. And okay, and bonding box. Bonding box of the H inside, it's of the H. Okay, and then it was dark. That's annoying. Um, okay, now also let's include. Include the vector two class. And just a, no, I mean the vector class. Now, if you aren't uh, familiar with this C++ library, this is basically a mutable array. So it's an array that can change in size, basically. Now, uh, essentially, now let's go over all of our files. And in all of our files, you'll uh, just include. So in your .m file. I remove the include GLW and just include the prefix .h. And yes, we'll copy and paste this into all of our files. So in your so in your um, so in your game window .h class, remove those two includes and and replace them with the prefix .h. And by the way, now I think of it. Go to prefix and I think I forgot. Yes, it's vector 2h My bad. Okay, now. And why are you. It's vector 2h right? Yes. So why are you whining on this? Bonding. Oh. Still not bond. Oh god damn it. Bonding box, okay. Uh, okay, sorry for that. Now um let's do, so we now go to the sprite.cpp and remove again, remove everything in here. And we can simply place everything in here with a simple prefix of H. It looks more looks much cleaner anyway. Um, also then go to the player sprite. And remove uh, ion stream and the bonding box of H include. Okay, so let's check if this still works. So just run this, and everything still works. Now go to your game window.cpp. Well, actually, first go to your game window.h and let's create a new. Uh, so 
basically let's create a vector and the vector as I said is is like an mutable array so it's an array that can change in size so it can shrink and can grow so people uh, use it to keep reference to all of our uh, yeah to all of our like enemies and players and missiles and whatever so let's create like a temporary one so just uh, so just so I can show you how it works. So remove this player sprite rocket and just type std std vector vector inside here do sprite pointer and we will have um, again pointer to um I just name this um render list on render array for now okay okay now in a in your uh, constructor also let's create a new private method now I think of it yes so create a new private method and I just organize this a little bit a little bit And do just gen and press C. And yeah, just create like a void setup setup GL with no arguments. Let's implement this above your uh, constructor. So voids, game window, setup GL. Then take all of your OpenGL code, so from GL clear color to to GL text color pointer. Copy it and paste this all in your in your, in your setup GL method, and then just at the beginning of your constructor call the setup GL method. Okay, now remove your rocket. Remove everything that relates to your rocket. Oh, actually, leave this back. Actually, remove everything. And now let's um, so uh, render array equals new vector. I'm sorry, std vector and this sprite. Okay, now create your player. So, player sprite and call this rocket and just call this rocket equals and make it a pointer, please. So, maybe it's a pointer rocket equals new. Player sprite with expression um, with texture buffer ID. I did I miss something? Oh, uh, looks like I forgot what the implementation was. Not done it. What does it texture buffer ID in the position? Oh yes, it takes two arguments. And the position just do or uh, make vector to and uh, do like five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. Okay, sorry for that. And now let's add this to our uh, to our render array. So just type render array dot no, no, sorry it's a pointer so push so arrow push 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 back and rocket okay now in your render method you will create an iterator so uh, uh, 
the way a vector the vector works is essentially it needs an, it needs an iterator and it, yeah, it's basically like a reference to the objects in the vector. So to create a vector iterator, just type std vector. So the kind of vector you're using, and double point to iterator, and just name our iterator. Just name this like sprite iterator. That's my cat. I'm sorry. And this equals. Now, this will equal render array pointer to begin. Okay, so essentially we want the reference of the first element in our array, and we have one condition that uh, so that our sprite our sprite iterator does not equal render array. And so essentially, as long as sprite iterator doesn't equal the last element, we want to uh, to look through our um, yeah our vector. So and increment just increment the, the sprite iterator. So basic stuff. Now the iterator it basically keeps it keeps a pointer to an uh, to the to the pointer inside of the vector, so essentially, to get the the pointer to the player sprite, we have to do star sprite iterator, and because uh, yeah, it's a pointer, we have to use the arrow render. Okay, so it's it's that simple actually to use vectors. Now, just copy and paste this into your update update method and change render to update update okay now if you run this it still works the same way now for some reason I can't move back then it's up something check sure. run the same oh no and now I can move forward and I can't move up that's interesting. Um, they messed up something here. Nope, it's not working. Oh yes, we have new bonding box. God damn it! Ah, yeah, I forget things. Sorry for that. So yeah, just do. Uh, yeah, just do rocket. Set bonding box. Make bonding box, and the top will be our height. The bottom will be zero. The left will be zero. And the dog, I'm sorry for that again. And the right will be the weight. Okay, if we run this now, it should all work just fine. And it's working perfectly. Now, the cool thing with this is that we can actually we have now a really, really easy way to uh, create new stuff into our, uh, into our game. So, um, what you can do is say create like a new so create like a sprite just to play with this a little bit create a sprite reference to other rocket or whatever rocket and this equals new sprite new, sp new sprite underscore extra buffer id and make and make make vector 2 and do this like 700 400 and and then just do render array dot 
push back on the rocket and voila it should work voila now you have two rockets pretty cool and we can like make it that, that other one move so we can do like um, and it smooths up a little bit uh, we can do like under a rocket uh, set velocity so we'll make vector 2 do this like 1 2 it's pretty fast actually <laughs> yeah that's the drugs okay now um, one last thing let's actually create our destructor of our class so just do in your .h file of your game window, do uh, what, 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 no, no, I meant do alt n and then just type game window and just create this symbol because it's name. Yeah, yeah you can see it. And then just fit me on this, obviously. And then let's implement it. So void, and, and I like to implement this underneath your constructor actually, looks nice. And we just need to do void, but it has no, yeah, just do game window, game window, the colon, game window. And just type delete, delete, run the array. Okay, and that's actually it for today. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. I forgot something. Um, so copy one of your for loops with the iterator in it and paste it into your destructor. Well, basically, we have to delete the objects we created, so the sprites. To do that, um, just do so remove that arrow render and just do delete and this is it it should do the trick and if you run this essentially it now deletes every object in the area okay so that was it for you now bye